morning guys welcome back to the channel um, I've come down to my local coastline um, because I've set myself a summer challenge of doing a little biodiversity study um, on the plants that grow on the cliffs and the coastline at my local beach um, so whilst I wait for my quadra to arrive in the post I thought I'd come down and do some plant ID and I thought I'd bring you along so let's see what we can find So guys, I probably won't be doing quite as much chatting in this video just because I'm full up with cold and it will probably be easier if I just put the notes on the screen so that you can see them as I go. So the cliffs here behind me are actually quite chalky. So let's see what species are thriving here. So as you can see, this area is full of lots of different plant species. It is like um, a, a vertical meadow, this cliff. Um, it's absolutely beautiful. Um, before we go into what I found, these are the tools that I'm using to identify. So we have the Collins Wildflower Guide, which is the complete one, covers grasses and wildflowers, and my little Collins gem. We've got coxfoot or dactylis in Latin, followed by ribwort plantain or plantago lanceolata. Apologies if I'm saying any of these Latin terms wrong. Please feel free to correct me in the comments below. I'd appreciate it. This bright one is red valerian or valeriana rubra. Next we have an umbilifer, um, it's pre-flowering this one, um, so I can't confirm the type. If you know, then again, please pop a comment in, I'd love to uh, hear your thoughts. This is common broom or Cytisis scorparius. This is common lilac or Syringa vulgaris. This beauty is bird's foot trefoil or Lotus corniculatus. Next up, the common dandelion or Taraxicum officinal. The beautiful wild carrot or Dorcas carota. This one was a weird one because my apps and different things on the internet suggested it was something else. However, given the environment and the habitat, I settled on golden samphire, which is Limbada chrythmoids. Um, if you think it's anything different, then please do let me know. Next up is Spear Thistle or Cerisium vulgare. This beauty is Silver Ragwort or Jacobea maritima. This leggy lady is Dyer's Rocket or Reseda lutola. Next is Perennial Wall Rocket or Diplotaxis tenufolia. This beauty is purple toad flax or Linaria purpurea. And finally the star of the show today is the pyramidal orchid or Anacamptis pyramidalis which um, I was really lucky to find. I was just generally looking around and suddenly out of a sea of lots of pinks and reds, I spotted these little flowers halfway up the cliff um, and actually managed to walk up to them and take a picture. Um, they were the only two orchids I spotted on the whole length of my walk. Um, so whether they are fresh this year and are completely new, it's a complete possibility but I am definitely going to keep an eye out for them because I'm, they would be hard to spot um, amongst the sea of lots of other pink flowers, um, but definitely something I'm gonna look out for because I definitely only saw two. 
so you may have noticed throughout the video um, and certainly in the pictures and the the clips of the cliffs that um, there were a lot of grasses about um, now I purposely apart from the dactylis which was the first um, plant that we identified apart from that um, I didn't really go into grasses today that will probably be something for a future video they are quite notoriously hard to identify um, and I just wanted to stick to wildflower species for this particular video um, so that's why we haven't really um, been looking at grasses today um, but stay tuned and I will definitely at some point do one on grasses because they are an extremely important part of our environment as always thanks for being here today i hope you enjoyed the video if you did then please don't forget to like share and subscribe as i would really appreciate your support it absolutely means the world to me hope to see you here on the next video bye for now